Right then, speaking to Canvey manager Danny Hill and striker Enoch Rumney after today's 2-1 victory over Peacehaven. Danny, let's start with you. A game with a lot of talking points. Uh, what do you make of that? Yeah, no, I'm really pleased with the performance. Um, the performance level over the last three or four games have, have been really good. Same as today, but and the mixture of not taking our chances and a bit of switching off at the back and a bit of a poor defending at times has cost us dearly. But that's how we've been playing the last few weeks and we've had a good week now to train Saturday, Tuesday, Thursday, gone through our bits but I asked everyone in the change room before the game today, if everyone gives me a 7 out of 10 then we'll win this game. And, and they did, and I got more than that. And uh, it was superb. It was exciting at times. We created a lot of chances. We defended with our lives. We, it was, the way the game was going, it was typical of us again. We, we dominated the game for 44 minutes, and then, then, then we conceded a penalty. So we got in 1 0 down at half time, but we kept our, kept, our, kept, our, kept our heads up and uh, told the boys to carry on doing what they're doing. And uh, we, obviously, we got, the, we got the goal straight after half time, and uh, we, was, we, we looked like the stronger side of uh, the majority of the game today. So are you happy with the reaction in the second half to go straight out, get the penalty and then push on and get the win as well? Yeah, no, listen, we, we, we've been trying to, throughout this season, obviously, you haven't got to be a rocket science to, to, to realise that things, things are difficult here at the moment with, with, with money and bits and bobs and that. So um, we, we're trying to play right a certain way and we've been missing someone like him and uh, he's coming. I thought he had a good game against... Um, East Farrock, East sorry. <laughs> and, uh, but today he was superb. He, he, he won everything aerially, he held the ball up for us, he was running uh, and when he had the chance to and that, he was getting himself in the box and he was a constant nuisance. So we're, we're lucky to have him here, we're glad to have him here. He's, he's bought into what we're trying to do here and uh, hopefully we can see a bit more from him. So Enoch, welcome to the club. Um, Thank you. How are you finding things? How are you settling in? Yeah, it's good. Like Obviously, obviously played um, um, a week back on Tuesday and um, I thought that I thought the players they've all got ability, they've all got um I think today we've showed we showed a bit of character as well with that ability to go like one nil down, obviously on the back of a few bad results. And I thought we've done well to get like get in the game and I thought it it, it 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 should have been like four or five, but um unfortunately just the inches in that in the games that um that's not that's not been going our way. But um I think um now we can push on from the win and use it as a catalyst to to like play well like we have been doing, but um, scoring goals and getting more wins. So you've had two, 90, two games of 90 minutes as well. Um, is that what you're looking for, constant first team football? Yes, um, like um, obviously before the East Forest game, I hadn't played for about um, a few months, so um, it's good to get two, two 90 minutes in. Yeah, I'm just looking forward to playing football and enjoying it. So Danny, um, back to the game, uh, that game, the, the, set, the, set, the second penalty, what did you make of that and obviously it being awarded and then the miss as well, are you happy with the reaction to us to go? Yeah, without doubt, I'd say um, with, um, I'll, I'll just fall from, from, from the moment we kicked off the second half, we carried on where we left off from the first half, we, uh, we defended really well and, and, but we, we had a, bit, a certain pattern to our play, I thought Dumas and Joe Carter linked up very well down the left. And I thought Jack Simmons on the right, he caught it was a constant pest throughout the game, cutting inside, driving down the line, and getting good balls in the box for the big man and uh, for Marlon to get on with. But I say, for, for, from an all-round perspective, we, we, we've trained hard this week, we've concentrated, we've gone through our set pieces, and uh, maybe the, the Met Police game being called off last Saturday has gone in our favour, because just so we could uh, dust ourselves down, regroup, and, and get everyone in the right frame of mind and believe in what we're trying to do. But So he, he's given us an extra... Um, a big extra plus for us in the side because we've been looking for that target man to hold the ball up for us and, and, and just get have, give us an outlet at times and uh, we'll get better and better as, as the season goes on now so we've got him in, in the side now and uh, we, can, we can get people running off him and, and playing around him and that and uh, it, we'll add to his strengths and uh, but I, I, was, I was more than that he's took a penalty against us to, 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 apart from like us having a clean sheet today but we've created enough opportunities to like you said to go three or four goals today but so we'll take the 2-1 it just gives us that something to build on there and uh, hopefully we can get ourselves on going on a bit of a run. But So I never doubted the boys. It's upsetting when, when you see the effort they're putting in behind the scenes and on match days <clears throat> to just switching off the little moments in the game. And we haven't done that today and we've got the rewards for it. So we've got something to build on there. So we'll take these three points. We'll, we've got a, a tough, tricky uh, cup game against Redbridge on Tuesday night now. A few of the boys that need minutes will get some minutes in that as well and uh, we'll dust ourselves down, ready to go again next Saturday against Kingstonian here again. So Enoch, what personally, what's your goal for the season? Obviously striker, so you want to bag a few goals. What do you want to personally achieve from the season? Like I said, like, um, obviously like just coming out of the programme, I'm just like, like um, trying to play football, just enjoy, just enjoying, my, enjoying myself and obviously I've come down to Canvey 
and it's a it's a great little setup that is down here. The boys have been great since I've been here. The manager's been great, and John as well. So it's like um, yeah, I'm Ray's, just trying to. Ray's the best manager he's ever had. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it's just like um, just trying to enjoy my football and um, and yeah, like if I can help the team push up the league, then that's that's the aim for the season. Danny, how important is it for you as well to have a player, not just with the ability, ability, but the experience of playing at professional level as well? What does that mean? Yeah, it means a lot to us. It's exactly what we needed. It's come along at the right time. We've got a young group in there, um, and we'll get the best out of this squad for, for over the next few seasons. And uh, we, we, we've got we're building something here. And uh, obviously, we was a bit more flamboyant in, in the transfer market last season when we when we had a bit more backing behind us and that. So we've had to go down a different route this year. And uh, We've had to trust the young lads, like people like your Charlie Barlow's, your Dan Kings, your Marlons, and people like that. And uh, we, we, we've got something to look forward to. We just, people just got to bear with us and believe in us. And uh, I think obviously we got ourselves off to a good start to the season, and then we've sort of had a bit of a bad dip lately. And uh, but we're getting better and better each week. And uh, we, we, we've got people like him in the side, but not only on the pitch giving instructions out, a big experience that they can look up to, but he's very good in the change room as well, going around and speaking to people, and uh, and that's what we brought him in here for. So I think it's, a, it's doing him a favour, getting him minutes and that, and getting him his love for the game back, and uh, at the same time, it's doing us a great service as well. So the second goal was met with really wild celebrations from the players. So from both of you, was that a relieved celebration, would you, do you think? I think it's a mixture. Yeah. Well. I think it's a mixture. I think it's, it's relieved to, to, to get the three points and uh, to get the goal. But um, the goal had been coming and we deserve that. Like, things have been terribly going against us. Uh, three goals going in from the wind, a couple of bad decisions against us. Uh, people switching off at the at vital moments and that, so I think it was a bit of a mixture of relief and, and what we deserved, what we deserved from the game, so to, 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 to go one nil down against the runner player for a penalty and then to score with a penalty and then to miss a penalty and then to go and get the winner as well, we had everything today, I'm going to have an heart attack soon, but uh, <laughs> but we say we believe in what we're doing here and uh, say we ain't going to get carried away of ourselves, we know it's a tough league, we know it's, there's no easy games and Hopefully we just gives that bit of belief in what we've deserved over the last few weeks which we haven't been getting the rub of the green and uh, we've got to make sure we push on for it now. Enoch, you can get in closer and closer. Is that first goal coming? Yeah, definitely. We will come soon. Like I said, it's like um obviously the players have been I we had a week training so they know like I'm playing to my strengths and, and, and like it's that is we're gelling together and hopefully in the next few weeks we'll you'll see more. Fantastic. Thank you lads. Brilliant, nice, nice one. Nice one. Lovely to meet you, mate. Cheers, nice one. Cheers. Welcome to Goals TV, click on the button below to subscribe and learn more.